It's like it's like you you yeah. have people are starting. To, they don't realize that you know your car's value is is it is where it is right now. If you were to purchase a Tesla drivetrain, it's going to surpass your car's value just in parts. Yeah, you know. Yeah. This thing right here is a perfect example, right? I bought it for five thousand dollars, thinking like, "Oh, I scored." I they make all the metal for this. It was rusted and stuff. You yeah. know, it was missing the whole bottom. And I'm like, "Ah, oh, this is cool." I, I, it doesn't matter. Like, I can buy a whole floor. I can buy doors. Yeah. I can buy that little blue thing that that's there that was missing that that yeah. cover. I see. I'm it. like, I can buy all this stuff, and then I do it. I went and bought it, and then put it together, and I'm like, "Holy crap!" I just spent like thirty thousand dollars worth of parts. It adds up, man. And then. So then I'm like, the, I will need to buy another one. And I'm like, let me look at the Samba. For $25,000, I can buy one that's running in this condition. Right. You play, you play <laughs> like, it's yourself. not rusty. It's got a motor. It's got right. the suspension. I'm like, oh, I just saved myself $10,000. And I, it's got like $10,000 worth of parts that I can get rid of. So right. I'm like, in reality, I paid more like eighteen, fifteen thousand $15,000 for that one. Mm-hmm. Where I paid thirty thousand for this one, just in parts, dude. It's 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 a never ending love affair, uh, for for our 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 projects, man. You know, and it's. Would you ever sell that? Uh, yeah, I think so. I really? just I don't want to. I wanna not now. I mean, I wouldn't because I one that one I put like six weeks worth of work, like every day, yeah, welding and you know, like the whole thing. Um, but my. The the thing I'm doing with those, I'm collecting them because I want to make a fleet so I can. So yes, I can, in Ho- in Hawaii, right? In Hawaii, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's, that's that. what I'm. That was why I'm building the shop here so I can work on them over there. And while I'm working, I'm like, let's make a series of videos that talks about the conversion process. Right. Right. And I can collect, uh, you know, commissions on that stuff because I'll make deals with these guys. That's how people, I make money. People, that's people. why I'm not chasing the 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 views. Yeah. So how yeah how do you make money? So, so there's a couple of ways to go about making money, right? Yeah. How know. do I, how do I make, how do I make money, Jehu, uh, doing YouTube and all the stuff that you do? I want to make some money. So, uh, the way I'm making money was through commissions, right? I was saying like I'm talking about batteries all the time, mm-hmm. and then these these guys are coming up, going like, "Hey, I have a warehouse full of batteries," and I'm like, "Well, I got a, you know a hundred thousand people that would want to buy them." Right. So then I would make videos testing those batteries, making projects, building projects with them, and then. Those would generate a ton of sales, and they would give me a cut, right? And it's no, it's no little money. I mean, I was getting thirty thousand dollars checks from one of these dudes, and I had like ten of these guys, you know. So uh, the thing is that after a while, when you start promoting them, then you kind of give them a life of their own because you know, like, because you know, like all your your viewers are seeking something Mm -hmm. and then when you tell them hey go buy it at this store or this shop or whatever right then everyone knows that shop and then whenever they want to do the thing they don't need you anymore no you're just the messenger they throw me away i'm the middleman you're the middleman so then it becomes like a weird thing because then if it's a small market sort of like this with the battery early battery adoption the tinkers the diyers then it gets saturation points so where basically everybody knows where i'm getting the batteries from ah right I'm promoting them all the time. So then after a while, they cut me out of the loop. And I'm like, hey, that doesn't work. I did all the work. You know what I mean? So then what I was forced to do is just to become that thing. Now I have, I set up this warehouse. I set up a thing. Now I'm buying batteries and I'm buying things and I'm making my own projects. And then I'm saying like, go buy it from my website. And so and now you're, I'm you're making. promoting yourself. Oh, that I'm makes sense. I'm promoting myself. That makes sense. And that works. And that is what allows me to not chase views. Right, I'm like I don't care. I was like getting a million views. Who cares? I make, I make twenty thousand dollars on a video that gets ten thousand views. Right, yeah, that, yeah, because it's it's all in revenue sales. Yeah, for you. Yes, I'm like who cares? Like I don't care. Eventually, I want to do get back into the marketing strategy and getting videos that that get views. Right. Right. But for right now, I'm like I don't care. And that right now, okay, my channel is getting the least amount of views it's ever gotten, and you know, in the last five years. But I'm making the most money that I have in the last five years. Because because you've brought everything in house and you're focusing on yourself, which is yes. genius, genius idea, man, genius idea. It works, but it, it's really frustrating because I want to make videos, right? The, the the reason that I do these videos is because I really like deep down I like doing them, right? right? And so not having time to do them because now I have to like oh I have to order parts so these guys can be busy is like oh I have to answer these emails because the guy wants to change his order to uh six 
PCBs instead of five. Right. You know, that sort of stuff. It's That's what I do all day now. And it's yeah. frustrating. Yeah, and right. it takes a little while for you to be like, how do you structure it so that you can hand it to somebody else? Right. You, you seem to be a little bit better than that because you set up that shop with your with your with your yeah, partners Chris, and yep, stuff, right? Exactly. And it's, it's I was never able to do that. I guess I was never able to partner up with people that were like kind of like getting on their own. You know, it's like right. you just tell them the 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 plan and then they run with it and they execute it and stuff. You know, I always have to be like kind of involved. You know, it's like this is what we have to do. This is what we have to. Do. And so I'm kind of still stuck answering emails. You know, customer yeah. service emails. Well, I'll I'll tell you right now. One of, one of the best things I've done in in recent history is uh, I hired a manager. For me uh, and yeah. jay like i i can't even begin to, to express how that was huge huge for me yeah because i thought you, about it because but i've never talked to anybody that actually has done it so man <laughs> tell, tell me you. about that well well you know what i wasn't really i knew that i needed help and yeah. i wasn't really seeking anyone and then it was uh it was recommended to me uh but it was funny there's a youtube channel called now you know i'm sure you know now you know youtube channel yeah, great uh -huh. guys, Zach and Jesse, and um, uh, Zach from the channel actually recommended someone to me and said, "Rich, we know you need help. You know, like try this guy out. He's a cool guy. His name's Stephen." And then Stephen and I we just hit it off, and now he's the one that manages all like vendor relationships, everything. Because as as hard as it's very hard to let go of something. Yeah. It's like if I all of a sudden started answering your emails, Jehu, you'd be like, okay, pump the brakes. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know, but it, it's extremely hard to let go. But once you let go and kind of let them make mistakes and then you do mild corrections in time, it's going to it's going to sink and it's going to stick. It's going to sink yeah. and it's going to stick. And then now your free time just it just grows leaps and bounds and that's what happened to me now i have my time to be creative you know my yeah. now that's my time to think of all right what's the next project how am i going to execute it and i'm starting to realize the value of downtime too because yeah the, the idea is like your your creative ideas and when, when you're thinking when you're thinking you're and you're getting information you're not necessarily talking to someone Sometimes you're just sitting in a room by yourself, staring yeah. at something, and your mind is just going. Like that quiet time where your mind is just going and going and going, that's a very important time because you're, you're piecing together the pieces of your day. You're not focusing on what someone else wants, and you're just focusing on you and what the next steps you're going to take are. Yeah. So removing the... Uh, the you know remedial tasks like email answering like oh you want you want five pcvs instead of four okay yep i'll get right on that for you send you know and then the next guy is saying hey you know what i got mine it's cracked what can we do and you're like oh like just you removing that removing those hours and hours out of your day that allows you to sit back and just think of hey how can i grow this more yeah. you know like what else is going to happen like in in hawaii do i want to move to hawaii <laughs> how many trucks? How many trucks the are going to be out questions. there? You know all the important stuff. So I've learned that. So now, like, you know, and then also um, he's taken over a portion of the um, of the the video editing as well. Oh no so, way! So okay. so yeah. So he'll follow me. It, it's I, I mean, I know you're a master at this. Your video production is far beyond mine. But I will. I'll literally have like my phone, and I'll rec I'll hold my phone like this, like over my shoulder. While, uh, while I'm like doing something on a car and <laughs> yeah. and now it's like he could just you know hold it for me like this he could just record and yeah. I could talk oh yeah, like, yeah hey. that's a big deal you know like that's like having a, a right hand you know person is is huge 